Today we're taking a quick look at the Apple Watch SE2. With this model, Apple offers a watch that supports all essential functions at a significantly lower price, but you have to make some compromises in terms of functionality. But it still could be interesting and totally sufficient for many people because of its price performance ratio. So I will unbox it first real quick and then take a closer look at the new features of the Apple Watch SE2. The packaging is very simple in white and when you open it you can see the two boxes in which the watch and the bracelet are packed separately and are held together by the outer packaging. You will also find some information on the bottom about which version of the Apple Watch you have. The packaging includes the watch itself, the bracelet, a charging cable and a few warranty instructions along with setup instructions. The Apple Watch SE comes in 40mm and 44mm sizes, and prices start at €299. Euros. Depending on which size and which bracelet you choose, the price increases accordingly. You also have the choice between a GPS version or the GPS with cellular. With the additional cellular version, you can use your mobile phone plan on the Apple Watch independently of the iPhone, but only if your provider also supports it. The cellular versions can always be recognized by the red ring that is on the edge of the crown. Here we have the 44mm size in the color midnight and a sport band in the blue color. With the Apple Watch SE you only have the choice of an aluminum housing, which is available in the colors midnight, as I have it here right now, silver and starlight. So if you would like a polished stainless steel case, you have to go for the more expensive Apple Watch 8. The setup works very simple. To do this, first press the side button to turn on the watch, and then bring it close to the iPhone. Further steps are then displayed here which you just simply follow, and then it takes a little until the Apple Watch is set up and can be used. In terms of design, it is actually exactly the same as all other Apple Watch models. The sides are rounded. You have the crown that you can twist and slide in the button right next to it. Now we have the first optical difference to the other Apple Watches here on the underside. While on the Series 8 and also on the very first Apple Watch SE is made of ceramic and sapphire glass, the bottom of the new SC2 is made of recycled plastic, which always matches the color of the case. The new Apple Watch SE2 uses the new S8 chip, which is the same in the Series 8 and Apple Watch Ultra, and is more efficient than the previous generation. With a high G-force accelerometer and high dynamic range gyroscope, Apple Watch SE can detect car accidents and automatically alert emergency services. In addition to the usual functions such as making and receiving calls, sending and receiving text messages, listening to music, various fitness functions, receiving and sending emails, navigation and paying with Apple Pay. There is an optical sensor to measure the heart rate and heart rhythm. The compromises I mentioned at the beginning in terms of functionality are that the Apple Watch SE does not have the following functions. These are that it has no temperature sensor to measure body temperature, no always on display, no electrical heart sensor, there is no ECG app, no dust protection, no blood oxygen sensor, the display edges are a bit thicker and also no scratch-resistant sapphire glass on the top of the display. Now you have to know this for yourself. Because if the missing functions I mentioned aren't that important to you anyway, and you just want to have the Apple Watch so that you don't miss any calls and messages, want to see the time, and maybe do sports with it from time to time, then this model can really be worth considering and above all save some money. Let me know in the comments down below which Apple Watch you have or thinking which one to get. Alright guys hope you enjoyed this quick video about the new Apple Watch SE2, and if so, then give it a like to let me know. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and I'll see you in my next video.